Hey everyone, this is Todd. I'm the Digital Technology Lead for the CEO Water Mandate. I want to talk to you a little bit today about our Secure 100 Basins app and how to gain access to it. So you can begin to share basins of interest with us, or perhaps locations where you're interested in corporate water stewardship activities, uh, or perhaps even projects that you might already be engaging with. To do that, we need to sign on to the Water Action Hub, so let's have a seat at the computer and get started. Now that we're seated at the comfy keyboard here, let's head on over to the Water Action Hub. If you're not familiar with the Water Action Hub, it has evolved to a network of digital corporate water stewardship tools like our Corporate Water Benchmark Tool, our Solutions Library. You can also search the 100 Priority Basins to see who else may already be active in basins that you're interested in. And we have our Nature Based Solutions Benefits Explorer Tool version 2. But we're here today to talk about the Secure 100 Basins app, and the very first step of that is to log into your Water Action Hub account. If you don't have a Water Action Hub account, simply click the Sign Up button in the upper right there, and you'll be prompted for a little bit of basic information about yourself. Name, uh, enter your username as your email address, uh, a password, uh, and then you've got to accept the terms and conditions and optionally subscribe to our CEO Water Mandate newsletter. Once you've entered some of that information, it's about registering your organization. If you're or organization already exists, just type it in uh, and see. And if you see it in the list, you can go ahead and just select it and, and go ahead and join the organization. On the other hand, if your organization isn't there, you can check the little box right here that says my organization is not listed. After I click this register button here, I'd get prompted in this situation for a little bit of basic information about my organization, such as what industry sector, uh, how big in terms of number of employees and revenue, and just a few small things like that so we can uh, fully register you your, your organization with the Water Action Hub. One thing to note, if you're a UN Global Compact member, please be sure to use the same name for your organization as exists with the UN Global Compact database. We do some data sharing with the Secure 100 Basins app with the UNGC, and it's an important criteria that that match exactly. Okay, now that we've got our Water Action Hub account all situated, we can go ahead and access the 100 Basins app. When we land here, see the first prompt is around entering your credentials. Go ahead and enter your username and password, and then you just click the login button once you've uh, got that entered, and it's going to take us to our company dashboard once it finishes the login process. And when the first time you land here, uh, it's gonna, everything is going to be blank because you haven't shared any uh, data just yet. Uh, so to correct that, let's go ahead and scroll down the page, and we get to this area down here, which is going to show all our locations and prog projects once we enter them. Uh, just click the Add New Basin Data button here in the right hand side of the screen and you get this little form that we ask for some basic uh, information on. Use the Locate My Basin link uh, just to the right of the Basin Select List and it's going to prompt you to uh, uh, use your location so go ahead and click your preference on this. I'm going to say uh, allow while visiting this site for me and you can see it's going to set my map point to my current location here in uh, Arizona where I'm recording this video. You can use the map controls to zoom in or zoom out if it's a specific site uh, that you're sharing and you want to get it right on the right street corner. You can zoom all the way in and, and get it right on the right street corner. I'm just going to generally pick a location in this town here where I live, Prescott. And you can see uh, that it's set my country now to the United States, the city to Prescott, and my basin to the Colorado in, in the upper uh, left there. If all that looks good, you can continue on to the rest of it. If you need to reset the map point, uh, you can click the Locate My Basin link again, and it will reset your map point and, and pick the, uh, the correct location. From here, there's two options. One is around sharing a location of interest or a basin of interest, and the second is around a project. I'm going to start with the location of interest or basin of interest uh, first, and we have this checkbox here interested in engaging for that. And you notice when I did this that the form changed quite a bit. Because it's just something that, that is an interest for you, there's no project details to share or anything like that. So I want to keep this to a minimum in terms of what it is that we asked for. And the next is around the investment status. Are you investing in 12 to 24 months, uh, 24 plus months, or maybe no plans to invest, just kind of an area of interest for you? Let's say that uh, for this, I'm planning to invest in 12 to 24 months. If you want to enter some comments, you can certainly enter some comments in the next field. And then we have two checkboxes here around confidential data and not sharing on the Water Action Hub. If this data is sensitive to you, uh, you can mark both of those. And the difference between them is confidential data refers to data within the Hunter Basins app. If it's marked as confidential, it will not be shared with anybody that you're interested in this basin except CEO Water Mandate staff. 
On the other hand, uh, the Do Not Share on the Water Action Hub will allow your information to remain as a location of interest so others interacting with the Hunter Basins app can see it, but it will not share it on the public-facing Water Action Hub. If the information is not sensitive, uh, which is the case in most cases, uh, you don't need to check either of those two boxes. Uh, you can just go ahead and click the Save button, and it's going to register that location with your organization profile in the Water Action Hub as part of this, and then also here within the Hunter Basins app. And you see as I come back, now in my current basin health, I have a, a country and a basin of, of the U.S. and the Colorado River, uh, as well as a stati status of quantity, quality, and wash uh, basin health. And you'll also notice on the global map on the left now that I have the basin boundary uh, drawn in for the Colorado River. Down below, I haven't covered this yet, but you can see Willow Creek Test Company impacts and, and quantity, quality, and wash. This is for impacts that are reported now for either projects that I have shared and I have reported impacts for, or collective actions that I'm engaged with in, in basins where I have uh, chosen to participate. This is going to aggregate all your company's impacts across all the different projects for which there are impacts reported. And it becomes part of your dashboard going forward. The next step in this is to begin to share more data and really fill out the, that map. What we ask is that you share your top 10 uh, priority basins to get started. If you're able to share more than that, we certainly encourage that and it helps us engage with you. The more that we know where you're engaging and the more we can understand what your areas of interest are, the more that we can reach out and connect so that as we establish uh, collaborative organizations within the 100 priority basins and even beyond the 100 priority basins, we'll know to reach out and connect and say, hey, do you want to get involved here? We see you registered a, a location of interest. Okay, now that we've covered locations of interest and basins of interest, let's talk about how to share a project. We're going to use the same form and start with this Add New Basin Data button again. Just click on that, and we're going to click uh, Locate My Basin. And I'm going to go ahead and use the zoom in and zoom out controls here, and I'm going to locate this one over near uh, Cape Town, South Africa. Let's zoom in again. As close as you want to get, you can get it right down to the right parcel of land, the right street corner if you want. I'm going to pick on this little town here, Parl. And you can see it's set my basin. In this case, we use the World Meteorological Organization Hydro Basin Level 4 naming scheme for our 100 priority basins. And this one's called the Indian Ocean 160. And it's made up of uh, coastal rivers, small coastal rivers in that part of the world called Berg, Breda, Oliphants, and you can see the others uh, in the list there. <clears throat> for a project, instead of the interested in engaging checkbox that I checked last time, we're going to check this already engaging checkbox. And you can see not much changed on the form this time, except for the investment status. We assume if you're already engaging and you have an active project, you've already made some investment, and so that is all automatically set for you. The next piece we ask for is what is the project focus? Is this a quality? Is it a quantity? Is it a wash? Uh, and you can select any combination, all three of those if you want, just one of them, two of them, as I've done here, whatever the case may be. The next item we ask for is, is this a collective action? And this is just a yes, no, or interested in finding partners. Uh, I'll say no, this is just perhaps a bilateral project that I'm engaged with. And I can scroll down the, the list here. The only other required data point is, is a name, so that as we, uh, as we look at it, uh, that, that we're able to understand uh, this. So this is my Willow, uh, I'll call it my Willow Creek uh, South Africa uh, stewardship project. There's nothing magic about the name here. Uh, just something that, uh, as we look at it, we'll be able to know and see what it is and differentiate one project uh, fr from another. Optionally, if you want, you can also uh, specify a partner name if you're working with someone uh, on this project, as well as a contact name uh, for, for that uh, project uh, partner. If there happens to be a website or a file, uh, like a PDF or a Word document that you want to upload that further describes a project, those are also optional uh, information pieces that, that you can include. Uh, and if you happen to be engaging with our uh, net positive water impact uh, framework and you're designating this as an NPWI site, uh, you can check that box here and that will unlock the NPWI internal tracking framework uh, and reporting that goes along with, with that uh, uh, activity. If you're not engaged with NPWI, don't worry about that checkbox. Just leave it uh, unchecked. It's not required. It's only uh, optional and for those that are participating with uh, NPWI. Finally, you'll see the confidential data and the do not share uh, on the Water Action Hub checkboxes down at the uh, bottom again. Uh, I already covered those in the last segment, so I won't repeat what that's uh, all about. But then uh, once you're done here, you can go ahead and click the uh, Save button. 
and it's going to go ahead and, and register that uh, that project, and it becomes uh, one of your basins that you're active in, and you can now see that the, the data grid has uh, populated with that uh, Berg Breed uh, Indian Ocean 160 basin name, and now you can see down here in the, the Horn of South Africa that the basin boundaries have been uh, drawn in for that particular basin. So as you go, uh, your, your basin uh, grid will fill up here with the different basins that you have shared information on, and you can begin to understand uh, what the basin health is. Currently, for the basin health, we're showing aqueduct uh, baseline data uh, around the projected uh, states for quantity, quality, and, and wash using that tool. We do plan to begin rolling out our active basin monitoring system early in 2025, uh, and as we are able to bring on new basins, uh, data will automatically switch from the aqueduct data to near real-time data that we'll be using to monitor actual on-the-ground conditions uh, in basin using satellites and, and other in-situ data that, that we'll pull into uh, a system. That's the subject for a whole other video, though, so uh, I want to close with one more uh, element here, uh, which is about the uh, reporting piece uh, that, that we also ask. Now there's a whole lot of other functionality to the 100 Basins app. You can see the top navigation bar around reports and reporting and all those kinds of things. And I want to just uh, cover one more quick uh, item, which is the idea of, uh, of reporting and, and your annual communication on, on progress to us as, as part of being a uh, CEO water mandate endorsing uh, company. Go ahead and click on uh, that, and uh, you see I get a little prompt, a little bit of a description around what to do here. Basically, it's a two-step process. First is we want you to uh, tell us about your, your targets, uh, and then second is go back to where we just were and report your top uh, basins and, and projects that, that you have going. Uh, we ask for your top 10. Uh, if you're able to share more than that, we certainly welcome that data. We use that data as we engage in basins to be able to understand who is active in, in a basin and then be able to reach out to you to say, we're going to go uh, to this particular basin and we're establishing a collaborative and we've got these projects, are you interested in participating? And that's the reason to share those uh, basins of interest and locations of interest with us going forward. I'm going to go ahead and close that little prompt there. And you can see I've already added a, a test uh, water target data here. So we only do it once a year, so I can't add a new one. But if I go and uh, hit the edit button here, you get an idea of what it is that we're after. You'll have an add button there instead of the edit button that, that you see me have. But uh, it just simply asks if your company has a water target, uh, what is the target? And this is a, a freeform uh, text field here that you can type whatever in. We recognize that you may have multiple targets. So just, just type in what, what they are. We wanted this to be pretty easy and straightforward and, and just uh, indicate what uh, the target uh, achievement year is uh, and then a couple more questions around uh, where it applies to or what areas it applies to and then if you've uh, achieved some sort of progress to it and again we recognize that with multiple targets there may be multiple progress indicators for this please just enter it all as a, as a big text field and sentences with uh, uh, separated by periods and, and that will be good for us the the COP reporting year is automatically set based on today's date so it comes through as 2024 and we do ask for it just once a year so that that will be your report for that year once you save it, if you need to come back and, and uh, edit it, uh, you certainly you can notice under the actions column in the in the background there, there's an edit button over here on the right, and then also a little trash can if you need to delete a uh, record for some reason, and then you can add it back if you made a mistake or something needs to be updated. Okay, now that we've shared all our water target data, I want to close with just a, a little preview of a few features that uh, we'll be rolling out in the, the next few months here uh, to really get you excited about sharing some of your uh, priority basins and locations and projects if uh, the company dashboard that I showed you earlier wasn't uh, enough. I'm going to navigate to back to this home link here and you can see I've switched to this test system now so there's a lot more data that I have uh, loaded in here uh, as we work on testing these features out and I'm going to click on this uh, this basin name here in this column and this is the uh, Arabian Sea 253 or Indus Basin to go to the basin dashboard itself and this I like to call this one the basin health dashboard and you can see it's shown me the the boundaries of this basin in India and Pakistan but the the main point of this uh, dashboard here is the basin stress status or basin health over on the right there with that line chart where we're looking at the dimensions of quality quantity and wash and tr tracking those over time and you can see as time goes you know what does the data collection look like is this line trending in the right direction or is it not for this basin and then what does that mean about what we need to do 
We'll also push this data out through the public facing water action hub uh, so that anybody with an interest in this data can, can access this. And I'm going to cheat uh, and because I don't have an active link to this one here. This is one of the, the last dashboards to work on and this is the water resilience coalition uh, basin dashboard uh, for this basin here in Italy that I've selected. And it's this idea that we have a basin progress that is based off of targets that we establish for this basin that we all work to, together towards achieving. Uh, and they're aligned to the shared water challenges of this basin. And we can say, okay, here we are, and I'm recording this video in October of 2024, and this is what progress looks like. It is the hectares conserved there of 1,250, is that tracking on what we wanted to for you know, this part of 2024, or are we behind schedule? And we'll also be able to see aggregated impacts. You know, What is the overall volume that's been conserved or returned? What does the excess pollutant removal look like? All those different elements are, are part of what we're uh, working towards, and we look forward to having you be part of this, sharing your priority basins uh, uh, with us, sharing your projects, getting involved in uh, basin collaboratives, and really participating in this to understand what your contributions are, measure your contributions, see those impacts and outcomes, and help us achieve the goal of uh, progress in 100 priority basins. Thank you for watching the video, and we look forward to seeing you participate and share your data with us in the coming uh, weeks and, and months. <laughs>